Minecraft Preview is now available on Windows 10 and 11 PCs and I'm going to show you how to install it. So yeah, welcome back everyone. My name is Echo. Hope you're having a great day. I'll keep this video short and sweet, but this works very different compared to the Xbox Preview. That's why I'm making another video. There's also a couple of things I want to explain with the preview because numbers are slightly different and this is going to get quite confusing when it comes to beta slash preview days. First thing you want to do is head over to Twitter. Give Josh a follow. This is his Twitter. I'll leave a link down below. Here's the Minecraft release manager. He seems to be taking control about the Minecraft preview. He'll tell you when the space is available for the iOS preview. He'll tell you what they're currently working on. And he will tell you when a new preview program is available. It is now available on iOS, Xbox, and Windows. I think next is going to be Android. And then we got to wait and see what happens with PlayStation and Switch. He tweeted this saying, Happy Wednesday. Minecraft preview is now available on Windows for all players who own the Bedrock version of Minecraft there. You can install by visiting the below link. You may have to refresh the page once for the install button to appear. There's a link down below to this. Just click on it. It's going to take you to the Windows Store. Might pop up with this, depending on what country you're on or in. Let's just get rid of that anyway. So uh, it says install slash play now because I've already got it installed. However, when you load this page for the first time, it might say redeem or redeem code. Refresh the page. If you then go ahead and refresh the page and it doesn't say install slash play, no problem. There is a second way that you can access this. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because you can't necessarily search for Minecraft preview for Windows. I've checked the Windows store. It's not available. Some people have said that they've been able to find it, but most people are using these links. He then tweeted this saying, if you have tried to install Minecraft preview on Windows and the website never shows you an install button, you can try this link directly to the MS store page. Note, you have to click open to proceed. So let's just click this link. It's then going to pop up with open uh, Microsoft Store. And then you just click open to Microsoft Store. And this will load and this will pop up. And it would just be Minecraft preview for Windows. And like I said, I I've, I've tried to copy and paste this in the search. It doesn't appear. So it, it is slightly different compared to the Xbox version. I do already have this installed. So if I hit play, it is available for me because I already have it booted up. But as you know, if you play Minecraft Bedrock on Windows, you're probably used to this, which is the Xbox Insider Hub app, which is what Xbox is using. It's kind of strange that they didn't do this for the Windows version. As you know, we have previews over here. We do have the beta. I'm staying in beta for now. This is still completely fine. If you want to stay in beta, not a problem. I'm staying in beta because I like to use the unofficial Bedrock launcher. Uh, which means I can then create new installations and then access pretty much every single full release or beta. I could go back to the super old versions as well. Uh, so that's the only reason why I'm staying in beta at this moment in time. But honestly, at this point, if you just like to test a couple of things, you'll you go, go and leave the beta. You really don't need to be in the beta program anymore. You can just manage it and leave it. Now, when you're on the Windows Store, just head over to Library, and anytime we get a brand new preview, you want to just hit Get Updates. It will load, and if there is a brand new preview, it will install a new preview. It's a completely separate Minecraft version. It's so much better. It makes life so much easier. It's going to make life so much easier for me. However, there is one slight difference, and I need to show you. I showed you this on iOS. I showed you it on Xbox. You're used to what it is. So this is Minecraft Preview. It's not beta. It's the same thing, though, if that makes sense. However, the version is different. This is version 1.18.20.26. As you know, in my previous beta video, it was 1.18.20.25. However, this preview and the .25 beta are the exact same. They've just added an extra number. Why? No idea at all. But this is going to make life so confusing when it comes to videos... In tutorials, do I tell you guys that it's 1.18.20.25 or 
Or do I tell you that it's 1.18.20.26? So, yeah, sorry for the confusion in advance. Minecraft always do things slightly different, um, but it's the exact same as the beta that I showed you yesterday, in including all the changes. However, this one doesn't seem to have the new menu UI, like the one I showed you yesterday. This is definitely slightly different. But it comes with all the new UI stuff as well, which, by the way, recently they've... Um, now introduce the resource packs menu like this. Still no sign of how the behaviors pack is gonna look, but going off the resource pack, it's probably gonna be somewhat similar. And here we have them, frogs. So yeah, everyone's been enjoying the frogs in these versions, and they really love slimes. So preview is here. It's the new beta program, <laughs> the, the jumping in sync. Uh, go mess around with it. Super easy to install. On the same time as me doing this video, I could just jump over to 1.18.10, which is the most public release as we're making this video. Go to play and continue any other world that I've created. And then I could just go back to the preview program and continue. It's going to be so helpful for just testing things and experimenting with things. Minecraft preview. It's a new era. See you in the next video.